Thanks for staying with us. NATO says it is inevitable that Ukraine will join the Defence Alliance. Now, Western leaders continue to pledge their support for Kiev on the second anniversary of Russia's invasion. And the NATO chief saying that Ukraine is now closer to the NATO door than ever before. So what does it all mean then? Let's speak to Verts International Relations Department Professor John Stremler, who joins us live now. Thank you so much, Prof, for your time. Your reaction to this latest development? Well, thank you, Bungiwe, and, and it's nice to, to be on the show, and, and uh, particularly on, on today when uh, the uh, Swedes are joining the, um, the NATO alliance for uh, adding the, the 32nd uh, country to join. It's, it's Putin's worst nightmare. Finland and, and Sweden just finally joined, but there had to be a consensus in the NATO group, and so... Uh, Hungary was the last holdout, but uh, but Orban is, has agreed and, and the parliament has agreed today. So that's all set. And there was nothing new in in um, in, in Chief uh, uh, Stoltenberg's uh, sp address today and, and or yesterday for for the honoring of the second second year of, of fighting. But he did uh, pass a reassuring a vote of confidence in the eventual um, a membership for for U Ukraine at at the Vilnius uh, summit last summit of the uh, of the uh, NATO's uh, leaders and and he reiterated that in the press conference on on September 23rd of last year so mm. he's been very consistent in this and he says that it's not a question of if, but it's a question of when. And and I wonder, because he's been saying it over time, as you've just said. So does this then mean that they're as closer as he says to the door? What's your reading of this? Well, it, it's problematic because there is a war going on and the war does complicate its uh, Article 5, which is that all all countries would come to the defense of a, an endangered member, and and it, it is not. Um, a, a, there's never been a precedent like it. And in fact, they've only used Article invoked Article Five once, and that was ironically to come to the aid of the United States in the aftermath of 9/11. So, so they've not really honored it. But at the same time, they've got to figure out. Uh, and in, in negotiations uh, for, a, for a ceasefire and a, and, a, and a peace agreement with Russia, exactly when to do it. But they, you know, as Stoltenberg said in his press conference of last September, that they have taken steps to reassure Ukraine, both of coordinating their uh, military with the NATO military and uh, having political relations deeper and, and uh, shorten the path to membership from two steps to one step because it's a complicated process you know for all of the there's the saber rattling that that putin does and and fears of nato it's a voluntary organization operates by consensus and uh and everybody has to agree to a new member and and right now with the war going on it's 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 problematic so uh, they, they've, they've stepped up to the plate with $50 billion from the Europeans, but the American Congress is holding up the U.S. Uh, uh, contribution of 50, uh, $60 billion for uh, badly needed um, uh, equipment and, and uh, keeping the war going for the Ukrainians who have fought valiantly and lost 30,000 lives in the mm. process. And I mean, you, you, you even listen to what, uh, you know, the NATO allies are saying and, and Stoltenberg saying that, um, you know, they account for 99 percent of the military aid to that country. But I wonder then, as we are looking at this anniversary, how much of a difference has this made on the ground, if at all? Well, uh, it's it's clear that the Ukrainians are uh, suffering greatly and uh, Russia is is, after all, a, a major power. But uh, the Ukrainians surprised everyone with their resistance, and Zelensky has mobilized uh, support from the Ukrainian people in, in, in ways that are truly remarkable and speak again to the, to the, to the demands that the public has for self-determination and for identity and for um, uh, throwing out the Russians and, uh, and re returning to some degree of normalcy. 
However, it, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not Putin is, is going to negotiate a, 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 a peace agreement in advance of the U.S. election, because he and you know, the conventional thinking is he he hopes for uh, Donald Trump to be elected because Donald Trump has said he would solve the war in a in a week, which is nonsense. But nevertheless, um, it it is uh, the case that Putin and and Trump have this kind of bromance, whereas Biden would be just uh, an acceleration uh, of the support for Ukraine. So maybe Putin will 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 in fact come to the table. And anything that South Africa can do to help the process of getting a peace agreement uh, in, in Ukraine would be, be welcome indeed. And uh, Professor, final question then. I wonder, you know, speaking of President Putin, how do, how do you think he is likely to receive this particular development? Because, yes, it's been spoken of over time, but here again, Stoltenberg reiterating that it's not a question of when, it's, a question, it's not a question of if, but it's a question of when, and uh, continuing to pledge that support for Ukraine. Well, again, <laughs> today is the day that Sweden finally arranged to get, uh, you know, into NATO as the, as the public in Sweden desperately demanded because of the concern about Russian aggression. And, and Finland had already uh, become so. So Putin, by his invasion of Ukraine, has, uh, has forced two people, two, two countries off the neutral uh, uh, bench and into uh, NATO, as as in fact uh, the NATO uh, membership has expanded to 32, with a lot of the former Soviet space uh, uh, pledging allegiance and wanting to be part of Western Europe, and the Ukrainians also want to be part of Western Europe. Uh, and I wish the Russians would 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 see it the same way. But it's so long as Putin is in control and has this megalomania view of of restoring the the Soviet Empire. Uh, it, it is it is crazy uh, to think that there is going to be anything more than than isolation and further isolation as as the U.S. Uh, slapped uh, 500 new sh sanctions on Russia just over the weekend, according to Wally Adeyemo, the uh, Nigerian under uh, deputy secretary of the U.S. Treasury and uh, Nigerian American, and uh, there there is there is there is there is. Pressure mounting on Russia all the time, but uh, Putin is defiant, and so we're in the stalemate. And it'll be interesting to see then uh, how it is uh, broken off, if at all, Prof. But thank you so much for those interesting insights. I do appreciate him. That was uh, Verts International Relations Department's Professor uh, John Stremler.